How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And if you're new to web hosting and you're wondering how do you choose a web hosting provider, today I want to talk about a couple of things that will hopefully help. Now, choosing a web hosting provider can be a daunting task, especially if you're new to the world of web hosting. But here are some key factors to consider when choosing a web hosting provider. Number one, you need to know what kind of hosting you're looking for. The regular shared web hosting, it could be VPS or cloud hosting, but you need to choose the right type of hosting based on your website's needs and requirements. So if you're just opening up a small blog or a CV or just some sort of small business, you can go with the shared web hosting for extra resources. If you want to expand, if you're expecting a little bit more uh, traffic, you can go with uh, VPS hosting. And if you're looking for more resources and you're expecting much more than just a few thousand visits per month and you need a lot of resources and storage, then you want to go with the cloud hosting. Now, the second thing you want to consider is performance and reliability. You want to look for a web hosting provider with a proven track record of uptime, fast load speeds, and good customer support. And that's exactly why I recommend Hostinger. Now, if we take a look at the uptime and response time of the past one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten months, you can see that it is absolutely outstanding. We've got one, two, three, four, five months of 100% uptime. That means that Hostinger's websites never went down for a single minute for five months straight. And of course, the response time, as you can tell right here, 276 milliseconds, which is just lightning speed. Uh, yeah, this is just great. In terms of speed, Hostinger is absolutely fantastic. You also want to consider the cost. Compare prices from multiple web hosting providers to find the one that best fits your budget. And keep in mind that the cheapest option may not always be the best. So you want to look for something that's sort of in the middle. Now, Hostinger does offer a lot of value. It's not considered to be expensive, but you are able to choose expensive plans if you're looking for a lot of resources. But Hostinger typically offers more resources, so more value for the money compared to other web hosting providers. So that's why I like to recommend Hostinger. Which brings us to number four, which is features. And that is exactly why I like Hostinger. Again, it offers a whole lot of features. Now, keep in mind, for example, with the single web hosting uh, plan right here, you do not get a free domain. So I would definitely recommend that you at least go with the premium web hosting so that you can get yourself a free domain unless you already have your own domain and you don't need to get one. But always check the features and just compare the plans to just make sure that you do have all the features you're looking for. So for example, you've got 100 websites right here as opposed to just one website. With the premium hosting plan, you get double the SSD storage and more than double the visits monthly. So always consider these factors when you're selecting your plan. The fifth thing you want to look out for is customer support. And you want to look for customer support that is available 24-7 in case you need help with your website at any time. Number six, security. You want to make sure that your hosting provider offers robust security features such as automatic backups, SSL certificates, and firewalls. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Even with the cheapest plan, you are still getting Cloudflare and free SSL. So yeah, no matter which plan you choose with Hostinger, you're always going to be getting your SSL certificate and Cloudflare protection. And the final thing and number seven is scalability. You want to make sure that your hosting provider can grow with your website so you can upgrade your hosting plan as your website expands. So let's say you start with the single web hosting and then you want to upgrade to premium or business web hosting. And when the business web hosting, let's say, can't contain your website anymore or you're kind of traffic, you can go ahead and upgrade to uh, VPS or even cloud hosting. So you always have a lot of options with a lot of resources to cater to your needs and your monthly visits and, you know, heavy traffic if that's what you're uh, receiving. So by considering these factors, you can choose a web hosting provider that meets your website's needs and helps you grow your online presence over time. Now, I do recommend Hostinger because it pretty much covers all seven factors that we talked about today. So if you guys are interested, you'll find a link in the description down below that'll give you a bit of a discount and you'll find a full review if you'd like to learn a little bit more about Hostinger. Either way, Hostinger is covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee in case you're not satisfied with the service for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything web hosting. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.